Okay, so today, well this part anyway, this part 4, is to try to set up the Vulcan graphics environment. Now, uh, to start with, of course, I need to be able to pull in, uh, well, Vulcan. So, first of all, we need to try to pull in Vulcan. See if it even links in. Probably going to require whoop, CD build. Going to probably require something or other, or maybe not. Hmm. Actually, it's probably not so safe. What about um, there is our package. With CMake, by default, that allows me to find it. Open. Acquired. Looks like it. So if I... Um, yeah, there is. Which means this should uh, exist. And if I was to clean and then verbose make during the linking stage, yes, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Don't need this, don't really need this quite yet. After we create the window, we're going to have to create the Vulcan environment. So that means to start with, including Vulcan. According to the docs, require several items. UK instance. Instance and a device. So let's, do we need it before the window, perhaps? I'll do it before the window. Um, so we got UK result. Create instance, which takes in what? UK instance create info. See what this is. Put this to the side. What do we need? We need, uh, yeah, okay. Structure type um, create info, instance, instance create info. Next, flags are empty, v, mm, VK application info. Which it in itself is p and application info equals app info. Get those guys in in a moment. Check these guys out first. Application name okay, equals application info. The application name will be for the moment. Just a number, okay. Okay. 
This must help for uh, be for um, driver developers or something like that. Um, application info. Let me pull up the documentation for this. Do I have the VK spec? I should have it around here somewhere. There it is. Still loading up, okay. Okay, can I zoom this out a little bit? Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, okay, create instance. Do, 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 do. Must be the highest version of Vulkan that the application is designed to use. Okay. VK make version. We're just going to say one zero zero for the moment. Okay, so I see. If it says VK make version one two and you have like a one one renderer, then it'll probably crap out right then and there. Makes sense. Um, okay, getting back to this. Can we just put this on the side, please. There we go. Instances. Anything else? Create flags. The enabled layer count. Extension count and extension names. Okay, we'll just say for the moment. No, no. We'll just have nothing. I'm sure we will require them in a moment, so let's zero. P enabled layer names equals no pointer. Extension zero. Dot enabled extension names equals no pointer. Like that. Okay. And in CI, what was else? Nothing there. And instance. So, um, instance. Let's see if that'll work. Am I even running the release version or the debug version? Well, we'll find out in a second. I don't, um, okay, it's just not doing anything. Or, oh, you know what? Because it is the release version, right? So yeah, breakpoint had no effect. Mm -hmm. 
instance created. We'll handle, make sure it's zeroed out. Very nice. At the end of the application, we do destroy instance. Or not. No, we do. Just take a took a moment for it to figure it out. Instance. Enter. And then we'll probably do the same thing in a moment for a device. So the instance is the very basic information. Then we need a device on top of that. Uh, once we get it, it looks like a physical device. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll just start on the basics. We need to... Uh, physical and logical devices, physical device represents a single... A logical device represents an instance of implementation of the own state and resource independent of all the logical devices. Okay, okay. Okay. So this is what, instance creation. And then this will be device or physical device. So we first of all have to get rid of that, squeeze it, nope, squeeze it to the side. Okay, so first of all, uh, we'll just say it's zero. It doesn't really matter, right? Um, or maybe it does. If it's null, okay, so it doesn't matter. And it does have a result. So res equals bk enumerate physical devices the instance physical device count no pointer then we are going to allocate a physical device Devices. Um, which is UBK physical device times physical device count. Once we pull in memory, don't want that actually there. And then the second run, we actually pass it in. Device, there's one. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I'll assume that's a real thing. Okay, so then logical devices. Ice groups. So this is like multi GPUs. If they can share each other's memory and a command buffer. Hmm. But I'm not going to quite do that. That's silly. That's too much. Device creation. Okay, here we go. Okay, device create info. Okay, structure type device create info with Q uh, Q information. Enable layers and stuff. Okay, let's just say for the moment there's nothing there equals physical device. So physical devices zero device CI. That'll probably fail. See, this is only enumeration of devices. Don't have to destroy that, but we do need to device. No. Ah, capital V. Actually, this should probably that'll succeed. Okay. So we need. Okay, will we will blah blah. We will need. Was it these guys again? Their count names, count names, features. Okay, you know what? And cues. Okay, first of all, uh, Extensions. I believe there's something to do with. Do I have WSI stuff down here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ray tracing, ray traversal. Very nice. Yeah, whatever. Oh, WSI, window, platform, surface. Is there...
Mm. These are done by Google Games Platform. Hmm. All right, back to the start. If I check uh, GLFW, Vulcan. On the internet, what do we get? Let's do it. Oh. All right. Uh, to include the Vulcan header, define GLFW include Vulcan before including the GLFW header. Hmm. Okay. So this is something I want to do on the compiled side. Like, whoop, don't want this. Actually, no backup. C make cache. RM. C make files. Get rid of this stuff I accidentally created. Back to build. In the root. Miscellaneous C make. We're going to add compile definitions, and we're just going to add this. Let's add it by default. Okay, first of all, um, let's see if this actually works. First thing, if Didn't quite want to do that. Equals GFW supported. Let's see what you come up with. It says false. Okay. Uh, okay. If I add this and then recompile you, you're instead going to error out horribly. Okay. Still false. As the extensions for the window surface. Do I? Okay, hold on. Uh, do I need to have this called first? Yes, I do. Uh huh. Hmm. 
So these, okay. I do need to have this guy called first, just in case. Is there any, like any real, there's probably no real. harm in recalling the initialization it'll probably just fail out somewhere else so in during the wsi i probably don't need this once flag anymore probably not like oh uh, yeah goodbye but we are what we are mm, what we are going to want is something for Along the same lines as this, yeah. Instance extensions. Oh, we also need, uh, We don't, oh yeah, okay, we don't need to have this for the extension stuff. That's true. Just before we create the window. Mm -hmm. We'll get to this later. Uh, we need the extensions. And they're just instance extensions, are they? Not, um, are these ones do, returns an array or no? So I'm probably not the owner, I could just leave. Okay, so we do this uh, and create instance info. We're going to comes out of this. V something. Uh, with a count of two. Let's see what they are quickly. XCB. I'm not sure what that is. 
I've never actually used XCV. I've only used X11 in Wayland directly. Hmm. At any rate, this is obviously the things we need to pass in for the moment. For the layer creation, so that we can actually use a window. Okay, so what I need to do in window for WSI is do um, something up here. Yeah, this is pretty obvious whatever what this is. I don't require anything specific. No, I do not. So destroy a window, we just do this. Instance extension. Actually. Check this out. What pointers do not have p prefixed? Do they? Yes, they do sometimes. Yes, they do. Okay, we'll just we'll just do this. Put out here. I think I put out here. Okay, let's change this out for foe window. Should we get? Sure, we get two. Mm 
Okay. Uh, we need, what was it? Cues, right? Cues, 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 cues. Cue creation. Start splitting us off already. I'm not entirely. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's just super wind out there. Okay. Um, I should probably, should I abstract this? Not quite yet. Physical device, logical device, I need the queue information, any extension, so, okay. Okay. Queue, create info count, zero for the moment, dot p, q, create info, so pointer. There's extensions and features, not quite touching any of that yet. Hmm. It's just, I'm not even going to try to pick favorites on the queues. I'm just going to create all available queues on the device. So how do I get the information? Queue priorities. Queue info. Families, priorities, submission, queue destruction. Okay, so they're, they're, their lifetime is the same as the device. How do I get device and... F ah, here we go. Get physical device, queue families. Okay. 
Pet oh, it's family. It's Q family camp. Start on the first one. Physical devices. Zero. You know, okay. We're just going to like physical device. We need up here. It's always going to be the first one for the moment. Device, the count, and I'll pointer again. Looks like it's following the same pattern as before. Then we create, was it Q family properties? Times Q family count. Then we enumerate again, we put it in. So on this device, I have how many? Two family types. Okay. Okay, back to devices. We have a device for each of them. Okay. So we need to create a bunch of these guys for each family. In my case, I'll just do all the families. Okay. Um, Q create info. Info times Q family count. They're all being created. And then four. Um, we're just going to transplant them all, I guess. So Q C I of I equals S type equals structure device type device Q create info 
Uh, next, we empty flex we empty Q family index equals. Well, that just happened to be. Okay, so that's just I. Q count equals what's available. The Q, okay. Properties I dot Q count. It doesn't feel right. I'm just transplanting like the one. Hmm. Pointer to an array of Q count normalized floating point values for some of work that will be spin at each Q priority. Uh huh. Do I even want to touch priority? No, I don't. Okay. Max of max Q count and family properties I dot Q count. We'll then just create a vector of size that max Q count. Oops. Uh, it floats, sorry. Of max Q count size. I don't even have vector in here. Whatever, and we'll just queue priorities. Oh, screw it. New float of that size, and we'll just do centered fill, I presume, N. going to be 0 0.f. And I'll presume that comes in algorithm. Yeah. And then we'll go through um, each of these guys. Or actually, no, because I'm going through I got to go through the, uh, them both two times anyway. So then we'll just do this again. Uh, where we just say Q count, I uh, Q, priority, what was it? P, Q priorities equals Q priorities of data. Or dot get. This is not a vector anymore. That equals this.
Does that work? Well, does it at least not die? Yes. Hmm. I guess that's kind of it for doesn't really do anything. Hmm. I want to abstract some of this stuff away. Probably something else I want to do. If I'm going to have all the Q information available, and like, what happens when I submit stuff to queues? Okay. What are the flags? Is it the global priority? I guess so. Okay, images, buffers. Uh, here we go. Q submission. special each patch Host access to queue must be externally synchronized, and fans must also be externally synchronized, which means I need to be the one to take uh, to make sure I don't accidentally submit two items to the same queue at once, which means I need to take care of synchronization, which means I'm going to need some kind of uh,
Okay. I'm then going to create these little objects then right at the start. And they'll be the same lifetime. Rather than me constantly retrieving cues from the device, I'll do it. I mean, would I? Hmm. Yeah. So. I have, I don't know, add an atomic flag or a mutex. We have Q family. We also have the number of Qs in the family. Oh, that's true. Um, So it's not a Q, I'm not going to actually... Mm. Yes, do I want to do this? Or do I just want to... I'll just organize it in my Q family. Uh, you pull in the whole Q family and then you can choose one of the Qs inside of it. And then we'll have an array of these guys. Uh... I'll just assume there's an AQ limit right now. That and that. So that rather than having it parsed out, it's actually local to the struct rather than having to go into another pointer from a, a vector or list. A little, a tiny, yeah. And there's VKQ flags, right? So this is the family, just family. Just family. These are individual for the whole guy and those are cues. Okay. Taking the device that we've created, we'll take in which I presume we already have. small assert to make sure that the number of queues is less than queues per family.
Return a pointer, or do I actually want to like be able to create it in place? Okay, we'll just kind of put it inside for the moment. So I'll figure that out. Family equals family. Do that. And then for each Q in that family. flag just in case it was uh, put in a bad initial state or uh, unlock get device in the device family, index, and Q of I. So once you created the device, I'm going to want to create these guys. Right. Perhaps I want to create a pool of these families. I mean, hmm. It would just basically be... Device has been created.
do that. flags which will be from the mm -hmm. family's I num queues of being Q family properties Like that. The two key families, they're all garbage data. Go through on the other end, and then the first two will be hmm. Excuse per family. Do that. Can't quite do that. We can do that. Uh, okay, thanks for just screwing that up. Q families, zero. Q. And then for the second one, it's four. Slightly different flags. Okay. I'll take that, I guess. And of course, they're destroyed with the device as well. So I don't really need to do... much else for this very start i just need to kind of pack all this away to something um a bit more useful rather than just having it all plain in the open in the main here i need to abstract it hmm along with this thing. Hmm.
Okay. Let's create another one. New library. This would have to be created eventually. So let's just do it now. Where did it go? Nope, wrong directory. Too deep. And we'll call it like um, environment. It's the graphics environment. Put this up here, and we'll call it. It will consist of. Uh, Move these guys over. Get the guards out of the way. It will consist of these guys. least will we have the instance the physical device the device um, Q families and it'll be uh, Q Grab the very basics. Do, 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 do. Dependencies, which is just the Vulcan one. You. need this down here no I'd rather have it up here got that we got that that, 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 that. we don't need quite need this but we do need include we do is going to require a subdirectory. Mm, probably going to want to change the name, the export. Acro name.
don't, don't have that, we have that instead. Almost. Ah, um, yeah, he's gone. He needs to add in the subdirector for the new library. That should allow him to come through. No sources, that's true. Need to environment uh, we're just gonna create environment And then we'll also have a similar one for destruction for destroy. Point a pointer. Yeah, be a point a pointer. Uh, we don't return anything from this guy either. We'll have the very basic. It's just, it's just empty. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. We empty it out. Uh, we're going to add him to CPP. Really? Close. Uh, we need to move this guy over. Mutex. And see assert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay.
Okay, so we'll do so. Environment. And then oh, the rest of this is all going to get just copy pasted for the. Uh, okay, we don't. Hmm. This is indeed problematic, actually. So he's actually going to have to be dependent on in order to get the uh, information. A window for this stuff. So first of all, we need to make sure We'll just in it anyways quickly. Not GFW. Uh, Vulcan support. We just return nothing. Return null pointer. Hmm. Okay, put that in the window, so don't need it here. Uh, we'll just kind of grab all this, put it in here for the moment. Reopen that file so I get proper nothing apparently. Well, you just you're just having a lot of trouble trying to find stuff over there, aren't you? Physical device created, expected, really. No, well, there we go. Yes, because I've changed it up so that it's OK. 
Okay, get rid of these guys. Got that there. I'm interested how this just got this thing is just not having any fun with. Like it does have whatever this is. Yeah, okay. Hmm, just can't find it. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's the very basics. Got a device going. Not sure if it works yet. And I got split up into the abstracted a little bit, but not very useful abstraction yet. Mm. All right, I'll call it there.